time. You cannot stop the hours from passing. You can't slow it down. Time changes us in ways we embrace and in ways we don't. Fine lines, wrinkles, weight gain, decline of body functions, and metabolism, it's all part of aging. While you can't stop time or even slow down the hours or years, Professor Shin Ichiro Amai at Washington University School of Medicine believes he found a way around that. I don't think we can reverse aging or I don't think we can stop aging, but we can slow down the process of aging. And here's how by looking no further than your grocer's produce department. There's a key chemical compound found in produce like broccoli, cabbage, avocado, cucumbers, and edamame that Dr. Amai says can slow signs of aging and rejuvenate metabolism. So just what is lurking in these foods, this key to feeling younger? NMN, or abbreviation of nicotinamide mononucleotide. He says his lab mice uh, are lab proof. Mice. Just like a human, you know, mice are also gaining weight when they are getting older. But you know, the extent of the body weight gain is much less in NMN administered mice. Why do they lose their weight, right? So that's actually in a related to metabolism. NMN is dissolved in drinking water. After consumption for a full year, older mice have the metabolism and energy levels resembling that of younger mice. Interestingly, we also find you know, they actually eat more when they get older. Usually, that, you know, just like humans, their uh, food intake decreases over age. But you know, those NMN and Mr. mice maintain uh, the food intake. They closely monitored skeletal muscle function, liver function, yeah, bone density, and eye function. In all of these areas, scientists saw improvements. In the mouse models, when the compound found in broccoli is dissolved in drinking water and consumed, it appears in the bloodstream in less than three minutes and is quickly converted into an energy producing molecule key to metabolism. In a man, is a really important compound, which makes another important compound called NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And this compound, NAD, is quite important as an energy currency, stimulating our uh, energy metabolism. NMN is one step before NAD, so that NMN is basically converted to NAD directly. A class of proteins called sirtuin is one of the key regulators for aging and longevity. Sirtuins use NAD for their enzymatic activities. NMN can boost NAD production, enhancing sirtuin activity, slowing down aging in mice. But what about the rest of us? If I translate the findings to humans, it's quite significant. It's probably 10 to 20 years a metabolism of 10 to 20 years younger. For a person in their 50s or early 60s, that would put them back to a 40-something metabolism, feeling and acting younger. But it's not as simple as stocking up on all of this. The amount of NMN in those natural foods, like a broccoli, avocado, uh, and a cabbage, the amounts are not enough to have a significant effect on you. It would take an intensified dose. It's best to wait two to three years for the completion of human clinical studies taking place in Japan. The dose is something that we really need to look into, you know, scientifically, rigorously. So that's why that we have to run a phase two clinical study to uh, examine the efficacy and also examine the dose. In the world of science, Aging is being tackled almost like a disease. Aging is basically the gradual decline in our body functions. With more research being devoted to aging, the goal here is to improve health. If we, like a scientist, can make your later life, quality of your later life, uh, healthier and I would say more productive, that would be a really a great you know, life to enjoy. So the aim of the whole uh, entire aging research is to achieve productive aging.
Amai's lab is tackling one of the core mechanisms of aging. He says people could have a lifespan of 120 years to 140 years if all mechanisms of aging are slowed down to work together. This NAD, you know, metabolism is the uh, one of the core mechanisms for aging longevity control. So I'm not saying that we can actually control the whole process of aging by tweaking in one of the mechanisms. However, because you know, this core mechanism is communicating with other important mechanisms, it might be likely to see a global effect, actually a bigger effect than what we are thinking right now by tweaking this particular NAD met in a metabolism. He's confident his approach to productive aging is within reach very soon. And he hasn't ruled out that NMN might improve the look of aging. We don't know. For example, you know, when you actually rejuvenate your energy metabolism, what happens to our looking? Nobody knows. So that's something you know, I want to see in a, in a very rigorous scientific you know, study. But there is still one harsh reality. We cannot stop aging. Even when we can slow down aging, eventually we age and then die. That's when a person's time on earth will stop. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.